fire. A rapid, self-sustaining oxidation process accompanied by the evolution of heat and light of varying intensity. An active chemical reaction that takes place between fuel, heat and oxygen in the form of light and noticeable heat. Fire is a chemical reaction. The rapid oxidation of a fuel producing heat and light. An oxidation taking place with a rate rapid enough to produce heat and light. Technology. The branch of knowledge that deals with industrial arts and sciences. The application of such knowledge that is used to produce the material necessity of society. Elements of fire. Oxygen. Heat. And. Fuel. Fuel. Anything that will burn when heated with sufficient oxygen. Oxygen. Aids in combustion comes from the atmosphere we breath. The atmosphere contains 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, and 1% impurities. 16% of oxygen is needed to ignite a fire. Heat. Source of ignition. Tetrahedron of fire. A geometric representation of what is required for fire to exist, namely, fuel, an oxidizing agent, heat, and an uninhibited chemical reaction. Fire tetrahedron. Oxygen. Heat. Fuel. Chemical chain reaction. Each component of the tetrahedron must be in place for combustion to occur. Remove one of the four components and combustion will not occur. If ignition has already occurred, the fire is extinguished when one of the components is removed from the reaction. Oxygen or oxidizing agent. A colorless, odorless gas and one of the compositions of air which is approximately 21% by volume. Oxygen requirements. 21% of normal oxygen, at least 16% to start a fire. 78% nitrogen and 1% other gases. Fuel. The material or substance being oxidized or burned in the combustion process. There are three fuel sources. 1. Solid. Molecules are closely packed together. 2. Liquid. Molecules are loosely packed. 3. Gas. Molecules are free to move. Heat. The energy component of the fire tetrahedron. When heat comes into contact with a fuel, the energy supports the combustion reaction. Heat energy is measured in units of joules J, however it can also be measured in calories 1 calorie equals 4.184J and BTUs 1 BTE equals 1055J. There are types of energy, the common sources of heat. Chemical energy. Electrical energy. Nuclear energy. Mechanical energy. Chemical energy the most common source of heat in combustion reactions. When any combustible is in contact with oxygen, oxidation occurs. The reaction of this process results in the production of heat. Example, heat generated from burning match. Self-heating spontaneous heating. Electrical energy can generate temperature high enough to ignite any combustible material near the heated area. Examples, Overcurrent or overload. Arcing. Sparking. Static. Lightning. Mechanical energy. An energy created by friction and compression. 1. Heat of friction, the movement of two surfaces against each other, thus producing sparks. 2. Heat of compression, heat is generated when a gas is compressed in a container or cylinder. Self sustained chemical reaction. Combustion is a complex reaction that requires a fuel in the gaseous or vapor state, an oxidizer, and heat energy to come together in a very specific way. Once flaming combustion or fire occurs, it can only continue when enough heat energy is produced to cause the continued development of fuel vapors or gases. Scientists call this type of reaction a chain reaction. A chain reaction is a series of reactions that occur in sequence with the Result of each individual reaction being added to the rest. Fire development. When the four components of the fire tetrahedron come together, ignition occurs. For a fire to grow beyond the first material ignited, heat must be transmitted beyond the first material to additional fuel packages. Phases of fire. Ignition. Growth. Flashover. Fully developed. Decay. 
Ignition describes the period when the four elements of the fire tetrahedron come together and combustion begins. Growth Shortly after ignition, a fire plume begins to form above the burning fuel. As the plume develops, it begins to draw or entrain air from the surrounding space into the column. Flashover The transition between the growth and the fully developed fire stages and is not a specific event such as ignition. During flashover, conditions in the compartment change very rapidly as the fire changes from one that is dominated by the burning of the materials first ignited to one that involves all of the exposed combustible surfaces within the compartment. Fully developed occurs when all combustible materials in the compartment are involved in the fire. Decay As the fire consumes the available fuel in the compartment, the rate of heat release begins to decline. Three stages of fire. 1. Incipient stage. 2. Free burning stage. 3. Smoldering. Incipient stage. Initial stage of fire. Characteristics. Normal room temperature. Oxygen plentiful. Thermal updraft rise accumulates at higher point. Temperature at 1000 F. Producing CO2, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, water, and other gases. 2. Free burning phase. A phase of burning in which materials or structures are burning in the presence of adequate oxygen. Characteristics. Fire has involved more fuel. Oxygen supply has depleted. Heat accumulates at upper area. Temperature exceeds 1330 def. Area is fully involved. 3. Smoldering phase. Final phase of burning wherein flame ceases but dense smoke and heat completely fill the confined room. Modes of heat transfer. Heat is by its product of combustion that is of significant importance to the firefighter. It is heat that causes fire to sustain its combustion and, more important, to extend. When heat given off as a product of combustion is exposed to an unheated substance, certain changes occur that can make the new substance a contributing factor in extending a fire. Conduction. Heat transfer within solids or between contacting solids. When a hot object transfers its heat, conduction has taken place. The transfer could be to another object or to another portion of the same object. As we have discovered and will be constantly reinforced about, combustion occurs on the molecular level. When an object heats up, the atoms become agitated and begin to collide with one another. A chain reaction of molecules and atoms, like wave energy, occurs and causes the agitated molecules to pass the heat energy to areas of non-heat. Convection. Heat transfer by the movement of liquids or gases. Air that is hotter than its surroundings rises. Air that is cooler than its surroundings sinks. Air is made up of many molecules floating about freely. Even so, it still has weight. Some molecules are made up of the same element. For example, oxygen in its natural state will combine with another oxygen atom to form a stable oxygen molecule. In a given volume, air at a given temperature will have the same density. When heated, as in conduction theory, the molecules become agitated and begin to collide with one another. In the process, the molecules are demanding more space to accommodate the vibrations and they push into one another as they seek that space. When that happens, the density of a given volume is reduced and it weighs less. Because it weighs less, it rises until it reaches equilibrium the level at which the weight is the same as the surrounding atmosphere. Radiation. Heat transfer by electromagnetic waves. The last form of heat transfer occurs by radiation. As we have already seen, heat energy can be transmitted directly when molecules collide with one another and cause the waves of heat energy to travel. Flame contact. Heat may be conducted from one body to Another by direct flame contact. Properties of fire. Physical properties. Chemical properties. Physical properties. A. Specific gravity. The ratio of the weight of a solid or substance to the weight of an equal volume of water. B. Vapor density. The weight of volume of pure gas compared to weight of a volume of dry air at the same temperature and pressure. C. Vapor pressure. The force exerted by the molecules on the surface of the liquid at the equilibrium. D. Temperature. 
the measure of the thermal degree of the agitation of molecules of a given substance, the measure of the molecular activity within the substance. E. Boiling point. Constant temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure. F. Ignition temperature. Minimum temperature which the substance in the air is heated in order to initiate self-contained combustion without addition of heat from outside sources. G. Fire point. The temperature at which the material will give off ample vapors to keep burning. H. Flash point. The temperature at which the material is not hot enough to keep burning, but still gives off enough vapors to cause a flame across the surface. Chemical properties. A. Endothermic reaction. Are changes whereby energy is absorbed or is added before the reaction takes place. B. Exothermic reaction. Reactions are changes that releases or give off energy. C. Oxidation. A chemical change in which combustible material and an oxidizing material react. D. Combustion or flame. The manifestation of fire is in its gas phase combustion, matter that is produced by fire. Classifications of fire. Based on cause. A. Natural fire or providential. B. Accidental fire. C. Intentional fire to incendiary. D. Undetermined. A. Natural fire. Involves fires without direct human intervention. Examples. Earthquake, typhoon, lightning. Spontaneous combustion arising from the storage. Of combustible materials in poorly ventilated places. Explosion from petroleum products, alcohol. And other substances. Sun rays focused on glasses which may serve. As a convex lens. B. Accidental fire. Carelessly discarded cigarettes. Careless disposition of readily combustible materials. Poorly managed or defective heating facilities. Overheating, spark and electrical defects. Overload electric circuits, octopus connections. Children playing matches. C. Incendiary fire. Is one deliberately set under circumstances in which the person knows that the fire should not be set. D. Undetermined fire cause. Whenever the cause cannot be proven, the proper classification is undetermined. 2. Based on burning fuel. Class A. Ordinary solid materials such as wood, paper, fabrics, etc. This will be indicated by deep sided fire. Leaves ashes and embers glowing coals after burning. Class B. Flammable liquids such as gasoline, lube oil, kerosene, paint thinner, etc. Class C. Electrical appliances, causes electric shock. Class D. Metal fires such as magnesium white element burning with dazzling light. Sodium a silver white metallic element, etc. Creates violent reaction. Class K. Cooking oils and fats. Fire extinguishment. Extinguishing agent. Class A water all agents. Class B foam a carbon dioxide all agents. Class C a carbon dioxide powder never use. Water, soda acid and foam. Class D special powder. Class K wet chemical all agents. How do you say? Fire extinguisher. Remember the acronym T pass. T twist the pin. P pull the pin. A aim the nozzle at the base of the fire. S. Squeeze the lever. S. A sweep from side to side. Principles of fire extinction. Cooling, limiting temperature by increasing the rate at which heat is lost from the burning material. Starving. Limiting fuel by removing potential fuel from the vicinity of the fire. Removing the fire from the mass of combustible materials or by dividing the burning material into smaller fires that can be extinguished more easily. Smothering. Limiting oxygen by preventing air from reaching the seat of the fire to allow the combustion process to reduce the oxygen content in the confined atmosphere until it extinguishes itself. Interrupting, inhibiting the chemical chain reaction by applying extinguishing media to the fire that inhibit the chemical chain reaction at the molecular level. Strategies used in firefighting. Locate the fire. Confine the fire. Extinguish the fire. Exposures. Factors to consider in extinguishment. 1. Time. 
Two, weather temperature, humidity, wind. Three, fire axe, extent, location, building, construction, contents involved. Four, occupancy. Five, ventilation used for clearing the building of smoke and gases. Types of ventilation. A. Vertical ventilation must be worked from the top to bottom. B. Cross or horizontal ventilation used if gases have not reached the higher level through the opening of windows. C. Mechanical force ventilation, a method whereby a device such as smoke ejector is utilized to remove faster excessive heat and dense smoke. Additional basic tactics used in extinguishing fire. 1. Rescue any action taken by the firefighters to remove occupants of persons from building hazards to a safety place. Overhaul, a complete and detailed check of the structures and materials involved in the fire to make sure that every spark and ember has been extinguished and to have assurance against raid ignition. Salvage, an action taken by the firefighters in preventing excessive damage by fire, water with the use of salvage cover or by removing materials out from the burning building. Types of ladder. A. Ground ladders. 10 to 55 feet. Long. B. Aerial ladders. Purposes of ladders. A. For rescue. B. To stretch line into a fire building. C. To provide ventilation by giving access to places that are hard to reach. Forms of ground ladders. Wall. Extension. Hook or straight ladder. Attic ladder. Ladder One. terminology. Bed ladder, the lowest section of an. Extension ladder. 2. Fly ladder, the top section of an extension ladder. 3. But, the bottom end of a ladder. 4. Heel up the part of the ladder that touches the ground. 5. Halyard for rope or cable used to raise the fly ladder. 6. Paul or dog, the mechanism located at the end of the fly ladder that locks to the bed ladder. 7. Rung for the cross member of the ladder that is used for climbing. 8. Top or tip, it is the top part of the ladder. Hooks part of a ladder that is used to hook over a roof peak, sills, or walls where the heel does not rest on a foundation. Roof type ladders. 10. Beam refers to the main structural member of a ladder that supports the rungs or rung blocks. Extension ladder. Hook tip, fly, bed, pulley, halyard, beam, rung, paw, and butt. Thank you so much for your interest and attention. I hope you have learned a lot about fire technology.